Welcome to the Bio Support. This is a new series of past paper discussion. Today's questions are based on the topic binomial system. Try to answer the question in 10 seconds. Hit the pass button if you need more time. What is the correct way of naming a species according to the binomial system? A. Homo sapiens B. Homo sapiens C. Human being D. Sapiens So if you look at this, you can see that it's naming a species. So the issue is with the species. So whether you have to write it in a capital letter or you have to write it in a simple letter. So always remember the first letter of genus should be capital and the first letter of species should be simple letter. So the answer is A. The diagram shows how Homo sapiens, modern people, could have evolved from earlier ancestors. So, Homo habilis to Homo erectus, Homo erectus to Homo heidelbergensis, and then Homo sapiens, modern people. So, which statement about modern people and their ancestors is correct? A. They are in the same species and the same genus. They are in the same species but not the same genus. They are in the same genus but not the same species. They are neither the same species nor the same genus. If you look at this one, you can see Homo. You can see all these have same type of genus. Whereas if you look at the species, all these species are totally different. So with this, you can easily understand that they are in the same genus, but not the same species. So that is the answer. Which word in their name shows that two of the plants share the greatest number of features? The table shows the scientific names and the common names of four plants. So scientific name, Althea officinalis, and you can say common name, Marshmallow, and then Hortonia polystris, and then Water Violet, Wilo polystris, Marsh Violet, Wilo tricolor, Wild Pansy, and the answers A as Marsh, B as polystris, C as Wila, and D as Violet. You have to find out the greatest number of features which the plant shares. So if you look at this scientific name, it will be easy to identify than the common name. For example, this is water violet and this is a marsh violet. Maybe based on the colors they might have named it. But if you look at the scientific name, you can see Viola is a genus. Okay, And these two are more or less similar type of a thing. So the answer should be Viola. What is the correct way of naming an organism using the binomial system? A. Common buttercup B. Renanculus acris C. Renanculus acris D. Renanculus species So in the previous questions we discussed that we should have a proper binomial name. So common buttercup is a common name and either B or C could be the answer. So always genus should, the genus first letter should be capital R and the species first letter should be simple A. So the answer is C. The diagram shows an animal whose scientific name is Rattus Rattus. Which genus does it belong to? So we have to find the genus. You know that genus and species. So which one is genus? It's Rattus. Good. The list shows the scientific names for eight animals using the binomial system. So if you see that there are eight animals, which two animals are most closely related? So we have to find there are two animals which are most closely related. So if you look at this uh, genus, especially Arnicola crustata and Arnicola marina, where the genus are somewhat so much closer. So the answer should be B.
which species can breed with Prunella vulgaris to produce fertile offspring. So you can see that the genus is Prunella and vulgaris is a species. If you look at this uh, one, the partner Prunella modularis, where the genus are same but the species is different. In the same way, if you see genus is Vespula and the species is vulgaris, the both cannot get a fertile offspring because Prunella vulgaris can mate with the Prunella vulgaris only. So which means it can breed only with Prunella vulgaris, then only you will get fertile offspring. Uh, so that the answer should be D. The diagram shows an animal whose scientific name is Falco peregrinus. So to which species does it belong? So now you have to find the species name. So you know that here bird is a common name, falco is a genus, vertebrate is something we say phylum, falco peregrinus, this is the answer. Which shows an organism that has been named using the binomial system? A. Bacterium B. Flowering plant C. HIV D. Homo sapiens You know that these are all some common names and this is the binomial name so the answer is Homo sapiens Using the binomial naming system the Arctic fox is called Bulbus lagopus, which row is correct? So you know that Bulbus is a genus and Lagopus is a species. So the answer is B. Here the table shows the classification of four vertebrate animals. Which two organisms are most closely related? So hopefully the genus are always more close related so we can say it is answer as so one and three so the answer is b a rat has the scientific name ratus ratus what do the two parts of this name refer to it's an easiest one Ratus means genus and, and this ratus means species. Let's go for the next question. Two animals have an identical sequence of amino acids in one of the proteins found in their cells. What does this indicate about these animals? They have been eating the same types of food. They have not been exposed to the substances that causes mutation. They must be members of the same genus. They share a reason ancestor. So if you see, if you compare with the proteins, we can find the answer as they share a reason ancestor. Using the binomial system of naming organisms, the name of the line is Panthera leo. Which statement is correct? So the lion belongs to the kingdom Panthera? No, it's wrong. The lion belongs to the genus Panthera? Yes. The lion belongs to the species Panthera? No, species is Leo. Genus is Panthera, right? So the lion belongs to the genus Leo. So the answer should be B. So here, the scientific names of some animals are listed. So something like that, one, two, three, four. And you can see which animals are in the same genus. If you look at the genus Camelus and Camelus, these are the two genus which is similar. So we say same genus. So the answer should be C. Which statement about the binomial naming system is correct? It is used for naming animal species but not plant species. It is an internationally agreed scientific naming system. The name of a species is different in different countries. The name consists of one or two words. The answer is B. It is an internationally agreed scientific naming system. Human 
sapiens have the scientific name homo sapiens what do the two parts of this name refers to you know that homo means genus and sapiens means species Which term is used to describe a group of living things that can reproduce to produce fertile offspring? This is a definition of a species. The table shows a section of DNA taken from four different organisms. Organism W, X, Y, and Z, and the base sequences are as follows. Which two organisms are the most distantly related to each other? So we are going to check the organisms which are related. So if you look Y and Z, more or less is closely related. If you look at the sequence C, C, T, C, A, more or less similar, and A and T. So this is the only sequence. All the other sequence you can see which is fairly similar. So our question is not closely related, but most distantly related. When you compare W and X, you can see that they are more, if you see the sequence, they are totally varied. So, so you can see G here, and then here also you can see a difference. You can see there, and then again, the next one here, as well as here. So the answer is A. Compare the anatomy, compare the amorphous.